Hi everybody, welcome back. I have too much headroom. Hi everybody, welcome back. It's Justy. We are in the plainest background with the basicest light I could set up today because I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm running really behind on this video <laughs> and I have a very busy week. <laughs> so we're doing this, we're getting it done, we're doing I've gorilla style except it's legal because it's in my house and then I promise next week's video and onward will be uh, top notch better to make up for this flawed video. That's my Justine guarantee to you. But for today, we're gonna talk about Loungefly again. I guess I'm just like a bag channel now? I don't know when that happened. <laughs> I am a big fan of Loungefly. And if you saw my collection video, I have a decent amount of bags. But there are bags that I don't have that I desperately want. So we're gonna talk about those today. It's kind of like my Lolita dream dress list in which of everything I want, except I guess it's lounge fly dream bags. Yeah, that's what we're going with here today, folks. I don't think we need any more introductions other than that, and I don't really want to give any other introductions, so let's just jump right into it. Let's talk about some bags. The first bag on our list is the Anna Cosplay bag. I love this bag. I think it's so cute. It is very much immediately Anna, and I've absolutely wanted it since the first Frozen and then since this came out. I think it would look great if I did her cosplay again. It would match the dream, and I just want to own as much Frozen stuff as humanly possible, so why wouldn't I get this bag? It makes sense. Also, it's not a made bag, but I keep demanding for Loungefly to make me like a Kristoff cosplay style bag or really any bag with Kristoff on it. And they keep saying, oh, we'll put it to our design team. Give me the bag. Everybody go tweet Loungefly right now. Tell them to make me a Kristoff bag or even you a Kristoff bag. Maybe you want a Kristoff bag too. But oh my God, where is the Kristoff bag? <laughs> Number two. This is a bag that was released in Disneyland, and I think like um, some Disney stores as well. This might have been during COVID, maybe. I can't, I think it was. Um, anyways, and this is the Peter Pan uh, mini like attraction series of Loungefly that also had like headbands with the ears and like other matching stuff to go with it. One is Peter Pan, so obviously I have to own it. That just makes sense, everybody, that checks. Two. It's freaking beautiful. The blue sequin sparkles, the, the motif on it, the, them flying across the sky. I love it. I love this bag. And Steph actually tried to get me this bag, I believe for either last Christmas or birthday, because she's amazing. And she knows I need it too. Um, and it sells for like, like a th over a thousand dollars now, which is so annoying. So it's my goal to one day own this bag. Maybe it'll like dip in popularity later. I don't know, unlikely, but a girl can dream. Number three, we have our first Captain America bag. This is the Captain America cosplay bag also. I'm assuming, I didn't actually look up the title for this one, but it's very similar in the way it's made to the Anna bag, so. You notice there's a lot of backpacks on this list. I do love the backpacks. <laughs> I love this one. Obviously, it's very similar to like the idea that I have the big shield. It's his chest area instead, but it's like the same kind of concept to me. And I just love it. It's very clearly Captain America. It's very obnoxious as most of my Captain America merchandise is. And it would bring me joy to own this one. And as we saw in my collection video, I only have one Marvel Loungefly bag right now, which is a disgrace. I'm pretty embarrassed of myself. So this would be an amazing one to add to the collection and grow that number. And much like I need to own every Peter Pan bag, I need to own every Captain America bag too. It's just legally, it's binding. It's a contract I sign. I gotta do it. Number three, this is our only non-Disney and Marvel bag. It is the Stranger Things little chibi characters bag. Again, I don't know any of these official names. I didn't look them up. It has Steve Harrington in his cute little outfit. 
so I need to have it. I have every other bag that has him in his scoops outfit on it. I don't necessarily, like one day I'd like to get the ones that have either the bat, I know there's one, or has him in like his older outfit, those are fine, but I have to have all the scoops outfits bags. I got two out of three. I need to commit. I can't, that's like, that's embarrassing. I have to finish it. Plus it's cute and I get the rest of the characters on it too because I only have one that has Robin on it. I don't have any other Stranger Things characters on a bag. So I think I'd really enjoy having this one. It's not like too aggressive with the colors there. It's not like my absolute favorite color scheme I've ever seen on a bag, but it's fine. And I just want it. And that's really all the justification I have to give you. Number five. Anyone who's seen my did I get scammed buying lounge file on eBay video knows the pain I went through with this bag and I need it in my life. We have the Loki backpack, the OG with the horns. <sighs> I still can't believe it actually was a scam in the end. I made a whole video saying it wasn't and then it was. That's probably the most ouchy part of that. But obviously I clearly wanted this bag, that's why I bought it. So I would like to own it one day. I'm hoping as like more Loki stuff gets released, maybe this one will drop like a little bit in price. Like I'm not expecting a lot, it's Loungefly. But it won't be like the only Loki bag. And I will admit the newer Loki stuff that's coming out is a lot more beautiful than this bag. So, fingers crossed for me, I guess. Number six, this bag is so cute. It is the cutest little Captain America bag. I think it's more, if I remember correctly, it's like the Funko, like the pop style bag, which is fine with me. I have lots of pops, I don't care. It's just so cute. I love that the blue is a little like of a lighter blue than his usual deep blue that they've got on stuff. And it's just so cute. It's a little side bag instead of the usual backpack. I love the backpacks, but every once in a while, I do like to branch out and it's just super adorable and I need to own all Captain America stuff. It falls in line with the other one. I have to have it one day. Number seven, we've got another Peter Pan. Also in a blue color. This bag is gorgeous. Look at it. How could anyone not want it? We again have them flying through the sky, looking gorgeous. I love this deep blue that a lot of Peter Pan merch is coming out on. I think it's amazing and we should definitely keep using it. I do love this style of bag. I have Rapunzel's bag in this shape and I love it. It fits like a million things in there. So I'd be happy to have a few more of this shape so it's not like the only one along with the Pixar. So I guess the only two. I can count. It's just so beautiful. And like, like I said, I need to get every Peter Pan bag and I eventually will one day, that's my goal. But these are ones that like I want to get before other ones. These are like the high priority bags because they're so gorgeous. Number eight is again another bag of this same shape except it is Little Mermaid. Look how gorgeous she looks on the bag. I love the sketch style of the drawing. I love that it's a little more muted peachy pink colors. I think that's beautiful and I don't need to go over the shape and size again. I talked about that with the last one. It's phenomenal. I think this would be such a lovely addition to my collection and again it would break up how many I have that are backpacked. I love the backpacks, I can say it a hundred times, but it's nice to have like other styles and, and, and shapes as well. So it'd be nice to own this one and it would look great next to my Rapunzel I think. They'd be like little sisters. It'd be cute. All right, second to last bag, we have another Loki bag. This is another one where I was deeply wrong, okay? This was set to come out on box lunch and I checked for this bag every single day. Over and over and over, I checked for this bag because on their Twitter they kept saying, oh, it's, it's gonna come out soon, it's gonna come out soon, keep checking, keep looking, keep looking. They wouldn't tell you when, but they said they were gonna come out soon, so I looked every single day. I had somebody who it was gonna be shipped to to make sure that I could get it because box launch is very weird that their pre-order is coming to Canada, which is annoying, but fine. I Over and over I checked, and then I found out that it actually had come out, and they had been lying. It had already come out and sold out quite a while before. Why does nobody want me to have a Loki bag? Have I done something wrong? I deserve a Loki bag. So I have to get this one to like, for like retribution as to what was happened to me. And also because it's gorgeous. I love the full horn. 
I actually like it a lot better than the like cosplay with the horns coming off, but it's fine. I think the flowers on it are beautiful. The color of the green seems really nice. Obviously I haven't seen it in person, but I think it'll be a really pretty green. And I'm told it like some of it, or I don't know, all of it slightly like shimmers or sparkles when you get it in person, which I love things that sparkle. I'm obnoxious. So I definitely, definitely need this bag. And our very last bag of the video is a Rapunzel bag. Great princess to end off on. I think this bag is so gorgeous. I love the shape. I love the really cool looking, I don't know if it's actually a handle or if it's decorative, the like metal bit, but I think that's pretty. I love just the little image down in the corner. It is so unlike any other bag that I have in my collection. Very much a standalone piece, which I would enjoy. The purple is gorgeous. Everything about this bag is perfection and I want it. I have a few other tight Rapunzel bags, so I think it would be nice for it to sit with them as like an array, a buffet of Rapunzels, if you will. And it would just bring me a lot of joy. So it is definitely an important bag for me to get one day. And that's the list. Pretty easy. And all I think not surprising, I think they all make sense for me and what I like. Let me know if any of the ones on this list shocked you at all, although I'd be very surprised if they did. Thank you for joining me today and making it to this point. If you did, I know again, the lighting is not as awesome as it usually is for my videos. It was just the best we could do with the time I have. But like I said, the videos after this are gonna be full production value. I say like I spend any money. Um, they're gonna be better, I promise. <laughs> Let me know what launch play bag you would love to have in your collection and if any have slipped through your fingers. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.